hi guys welcome to my channel so today's video is going to be about what you need to start wearing makeup i know so many of you want to want, want to start wearing makeup and you're like stuck you don't know what exactly it is you need but don't worry i got you we're gonna be talking about that today in this video so don't forget to like subscribe share comment show love basically so yeah let's get into the video so the first thing you need is a primer this is the primer i use it's the blacker primer so when you're buying a primer the first thing you need to check for is the benefits of the primer different primers have different benefits some are mattifying like this one is mattifying those that blur out pores and those that illuminate and those that have combined functions so you need to check that out first before settling on the particular primer it is you buy so the next thing i use to prime my eyelids is the next thing you need is something to prime your eyelids you can use an eyeshadow base but personally this is what i use i use the mac studio finish no studio yeah studio finish concealer this is the box this is the particular concealer so i just put that all over my eyelid to prime my eyelids before doing my eyeshadow this just stops my eyeshadow from creasing throughout the day and moving so the next thing after priming your eyeshadow or oh, your eyelids is obviously eyeshadow so for eyeshadow you have two options not this like specific ones but you have the option of buying a big palette with many shades like buying this kind of eyeshadow with a few shades this is the one i'd really recommend for you if you're a beginner and you're not looking so much to experiment but if you're coming into makeup to experiment this is going to be your best friend it has so many shades. it has 35 shades like 35 and the shades are so beautiful so yeah that's the morphe 35 oh by the way so after eyeshadow i go to my brows i use this too for my eyebrows this is a spoolie which is what i use to blend blend the eyeshadow the pencil out so when it comes to an eyebrow pencil don't go for a black even though your hairs are black don't go for black go for a brown like this is a brown you can see it's brown so that it looks more real if you use black it's just going to look black black really black this is the pencil i've used today you, know, you see it's really dark but not black so right after that the eyebrows you'll use the same thing you used to prime your eyelids you can do the steps before or after depending on you so the next thing i'm gonna talk about is eyeliners so i usually use a gel eyeliner to use to wing it out like this you can see my wing and you can also see my highlight it looks great so yeah enough of that you can you use you can use a gel eyeliner to wing it out or a liquid one i use, i prefer the gel because it's just easier to work with for me and for lining your waterline like i have i don't know if you can see yeah for your waterline i use this black coal eyeliner yeah that's it so the last thing for your eyes is going to be mascara and lashes and lashes those are the last two things but for a beginner i wouldn't advise you to start on with lashes but it depends on what it is you're going for personally this is the I, my, the mascara i use it's a it's upside down it's called salami it's, but it's a drugstore brand and it's a great mascara it's the one i have on right now so the next thing is foundation foundation this is a liquid foundation it has a pump as you can see let me just show you what it looks like you can see i know this is a waste but for you guys i'd do anything that's it it's gone and the next one is a stick foundation let me show it to you guys that is it you can see just forget this is my highlight i forgot about that this is it so for a beginner i wouldn't advise you to go for a liquid one i'd advise you to go for a cream one because a cream foundation is just so much easier to work with especially if you're a beginner it's easy it's easier to blend out and ensure it looks seamless compared to the liquid foundation yeah that's just a personal preference not a must if you want the liquid one 
knock yourself out so the next thing is contouring highlighting and contouring these are the two things i use for highlighting and contouring this is definitely for contouring and this is for highlighting so for highlighting you're supposed to go for a concealer that's like two three shades lighter than you and for contouring one that is three five three shades three four sh five shades okay depends on you like, honestly but not too dark so that okay but it depends on the kind of contour you're going for if you're going for a very like you know contour you can go for a really darker one but it's all up to you I'd, I'd advise you to use the illegal pro conceal they are really great and very affordable they're like four dollars or five four hundred five hundred if you're here in kenya very affordable so right after that the next thing is powders so to set the, my entire face i use the max studio fix powder in the shade nc50 this is the shade i use i know it's a it's a good powder it's very full coverage you really need a cover you need a powder to set your makeup so that it doesn't move throughout the day for my highlighter i use a translucent powder you can use whichever one you like they work just as good yeah that's it highlighting so when it comes to highlighting you have two options you can use a real an actual highlighter this is an actual highlighter that's the one you are seeing here let me swatch it for you guys you see it is pigmented look at that it's a really good highlighter it's the highlighter i use it's my clean color or you can use a shimmer bronzer if you're looking for something less you know something subtle which is i think what most beginners will be looking for i don't think beginners want something too much yeah you can see it's very subtle you can you can barely see it compared to this one so yeah i wouldn't advise you to get a highlighting palette because they're generally more expensive whereas you can just get one highlighter and it will work really good for you yeah so after highlighters the last thing i'm gonna talk about is lipsticks so for lipsticks you have many options my favorite lipstick this is my favorite lipstick it's the huda beauty one i'm not sure so sure about the shade but this is a matte and it's a liquid lipstick you can see it's gonna dry out gonna dry out to be a really nice sort of matte finish if you want something satin it's fine you can also get this kind of lipsticks this is not liquid it's solid but it's still a matte one so it's all up to you depends on you get the kind you want and the kind you feel most comfortable with and so on to the last items which are brushes this one is upside down which is brushes so when it comes to brushes you don't need so many brushes you don't like really need a whole set of like maybe 32 35 brushes you just need a few brushes like this are like these are six brushes and you can use this to do a full face this is for your brows this is for your foundation this is for your powder blushes you can use this for your highlighters you just place it here and then this two i shall curly it and you can see our basket is now empty you see you don't really need so much to start on your makeup you just need those few products of which you don't really need all this it depends on you you can just start off with foundation and powder and that's it you can start off you can start off with eyebrows you can start off with whatever it is you feel comfortable with don't feel pressured to start with all this that i'm telling you about it's you just really need to be comfortable and start with what you want so guys that's it for today's video and it was a really short video meaning you don't need so much to start wearing makeup you can literally start wearing makeup today you can start with whatever it is you feel comfortable with personally i started with lipstick and here i am today wearing so much more so start with what you're comfortable with don't break your bank to buy any of this stuff unless you really really want to i'm not gonna stop you anyway so yeah that's it for today's video don't forget to like subscribe share and comment please share this video it's gonna be a really big 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 boost for my channel and yeah see you next week see you next week see you next week bye